At it again, huh? So we're still on the same boat as last episode. And I think we learned something today because uh, we go to so many different dive sites. It's not a huge area geographically, but on this dive site, we saw one species of leaf sheep. And on, like, say, Maltapai, we see the different species of leaf sheep. I'm not going to say the names, I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember. Uh, and then say we go to like Chateau, there's another species of leaf sheep. So, you guys, just so you know, there is gangs in Philippines. There's leaf sheep gangs roving these waters. Just yeah, beware. This is the Crips area, Bloods is over there. Yeah. I don't uh, know what gang is the yellow ones, but Malata they're serious. Kantan, whatever <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, just be aware of your surroundings. Don't wear leaf sheep gang colors no blue colors here <laughs> only no, reds no 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 uh <laughs> no sonic the hedgehog colors <laughs> but anyways yeah they got their own little brand guys it's kind of weird so we go to uh talisa now we were actually in san Miguel the previous one but uh yeah i'm excited for this one it's one of our top favorites it's just like one minute boat ride from the last dive site like from the last episode yeah this is a good one we haven't been here in a while though the weather's really bad, but uh, I was, I was, it's just not fun on the surface. Yeah. On the surface, we're like, oh, let's go, let's go. We're waiting for guys to get in the water. Just, just one meter, not even one meter underwater. I'm like, it's, it's all gone. No waves, no surge, just peace. So. Seasickness, you're like, oh. Yeah, I feel sorry for Tadea. She's all seasick waiting for us but anyways you guys are here for watch us have fun you want to see the cool little critters so surface interval is almost done i guess we'll start breathing some nitrox now <laughs> hmm? critter hunter you look like you're not having as much fun as me mm, it's like the rough <laughs> too much waves Oh, bee! You need your magical oil, if I like a salt, or your Vix. Vix. Okay. I'll try to find a sea urchin for you, okay? Yeah. I'll be okay if you're going to get some sea urchin. <laughs> Bye. I would like diving, and then at the end of the dive, I saw five sea urchin. I think it. Yeah. If you're lucky. I'm only taking you to dive sites that are not sanctuaries. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, as always the goal is a new species of flatworm or looty, new to me, so let's go check out Talisai. Welcome to the Talisai dive site, and one thing I love about Darwin is most of these dive sites, if you're on a budget or don't feel like going on a boat, can be accessed by shore and you can just drive to them. Today we ran into this little blenny, and I think it's a fang blenny. And I always try to film these guys, although half the time they're really shy, so I never get it. Usually I see white ones, so this one's a little yellow one, and he's really cute. Speaking of cute, look at this really round porcupine puffer fish. This guy's hilarious. I see them all the time, but you guys keep giving me comments telling me to film different puffer fish, and it never occurred to me that people might be interested in these. But this guy's kind of cute, and look, he's pointing with his lips. That's very Filipino. When he turned around, his little butt was just as cute. Look at that thing. He's spiky all over, yet doesn't look threatening at all. This guy's just sleeping on top of a sponge, and he's got the good life. Nearby that same sponge, I ran into this little, what we call, lettuce nudie. But it's not really even a nudie brain, to be technical. It's actually some kind of sea hare. And you know what? It still counts. These sea hares, just like sea slugs and flatworms, are going to be in our nudie break book of Darwin when it's finished. So this guy will be a good little addition. These guys do look so funny, and you can see why we call them lettuce. Well, I call them lettuce. I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't know anybody else that calls them that. But 
it's a good name anyway. These guys I found in all kinds of color, but with the same exact body style. So there'll be a whole sea hair section in our book, just cause they're interesting. Speaking of interesting nudies, check this guy out. I'm pretty sure this is a sap sucking sea slug, just like tiny little leaf sheep are. But this one is pretty big compared to a leaf sheep. Well, in reality, it's actually really small. It's about less than a centimeter long, and that's including the long tail. It looks like it has a shell, but it doesn't. It's more of a soft shell, or if anything. So this is some kind of Stillinger Lunibrink, or sea slug technically. And it's not the first time I've seen it, but the first time I did see it was not too long ago. And now all of a sudden I'm seeing more and more. It's a pretty cool one that I saw in our science books, and I'm glad we finally got to see some. There was actually two on this dive, but the other one kind of went the other direction, so I focused on this dude. Now this one is a brand new nudie that I've never seen or filmed before, and he's got a funny little story too. So basically Finn called me over because he found that green nudie that I just showed you and he's pointing at it and this guy was right next to it and I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but what about this? This one's new. And he pointed, he's like, what? I don't see, yeah, the green one right there. And I'm like, no, right there. And I kept pointing with my stick at this guy. And then finally I moved and he's like, oh, that's awesome. Like I, I heard him in his mask go, ooh. <laughs> So this guy was way more interesting just because we haven't seen it. But you can imagine why he didn't see it even though it was like four inches away from the other one. Because when it's not moving, it looks just like some kind of tourniquet or moss or something just laying on a piece of rock. Pretty good camouflage, but when it moved, it, it didn't stop. So I got to film it quite a bit. I actually got quite a bit of footage of this guy. So, well, you know what? I guess it's a good time to let you know about my new channel, All About Nudies. In fact, the title of the channel is called Project Nudie Break. And on that channel, there's no narration, no talking, no people. It's just clips of each species that we find. It's kind of like a video version of my book. So I'll put the link in the comments to that new channel. I only got a few videos up so far. But if you guys love this stuff, then make sure to go subscribe to that channel. And then at the end of the dive, I ran into a seahorse. Now this is a thorny seahorse, which is one of the more photogenic of all seahorses. We have other seahorses in Darwin that are really big and kind of ugly and I kind of skip. But these guys are awesome. So of course I had to film it. But what I learned lately from the Seahorse Trust that are trying to save seahorses, obviously, is that they are really sensitive to light and they can get really stressed out. I mean, they don't have eyelids, obviously, and they can really go blind. And even if they don't go blind, they can get stressed out and stress can release toxins and poison them. So if you guys are ever filming a seahorse, make sure to use no light or very, very li little light. And if he looks away from you, then he's probably stressed out. This guy, I just filmed his back from a distance with very, very low light, almost no light at all. Turned the f-stop way down, and he actually turned towards me, so I wasn't too worried about him being stressed out or anything like that. But it's good to get a different shot once in a while of a different species, like seahorses. So I'm glad this little dude made an appearance. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. So shout out to one of my subscribers, Scuba Daisy. Uh, I see her comments all the time, but I didn't know she's actually diving with me today. <laughs> How are you, Scuba Daisy? Uh, I'm fine, thank you very much, and I really love your, your vlogs. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah. So. She just told me, oh, I'm, I'm the one that comments on your videos all the time. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> awesome. Hey, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. You just became a instructor, right? Yeah, it's cool. Uh, open water, it's cool diving. Nice, nice. Instructor. Yeah, that's right. Maybe you could give Judea advance one day. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, open water for me is okay. No. Oh, I can do that fast for you. I can teach you. Yeah. Okay. Anyways.
Good, I'll see you here at Pura Vida next week or uh, soon, huh? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Thank you. See you He's afraid of camera. So, if you guys are in Dawid, you guys can come dive with us as well. Just, just get a hold of Sea Explorers. We pretty much go with all their trips and ask them when the next boat is with Phil and Critter Hunter. See you on the next one.